Washington. Overnight, the incoming commander in chief tweeted out a photo of himself meeting privately with some wounded warriors in Washington. This morning, he's waking up back here at Trump Tower. Later today, he'll head to Washington, where he will spend the night tonight getting ready for the inaugural ceremony. Donald Trump in D.C. for another round of celebratory dinners. Ahead of his first official act as president, the inaugural address, Trump tweeted this picture of himself writing a speech three weeks ago at Mar-a-Lago, his Florida state, what he calls the Winter White House. Trump's inaugural theme, America First. On tap today, a wreath laying at Arlington National Cemetery, followed by a Make America Great Again celebration at the Lincoln Memorial. Trump expected to speak, Toby Keith and Lee Greenwood performing. Vice President-elect Mike Pence says the Trump administration is ready to hit the ground running, telling Chuck Todd they'll begin rolling back President Obama's executive actions immediately. You're going to see uh, on that coming Monday morning, uh, the president sit down at his desk and begin to both repeal and put into place executive action that will start the process of implementing the agenda that we ran on. Some are concerned about that agenda. Overnight, LGBT activists gathered outside Pence's new D.C. home, holding what they called a dance party. The soon-to-be vice president opposes same-sex marriage, stoking fear among the gay community. And on Capitol Hill, Democrats are taking aim at two Trump cabinet nominees, including HHS pick Congressman Tom Price, a retired surgeon who'd oversee the dismantling of Obamacare. I am very frightened about what you are going to do, and so are millions of Americans. I hope that we're able to work together to truly solve these difficult challenges that we have in our nation. Price is also fending off tough questions about purchasing medical stocks days before pushing legislation that would benefit that company. Did you sell the stock? What I did was comply with the rules of the House in an ethical and legal and Ask above board manner and in a Let transparent way. Senator Elizabeth Warren also scolding Price over the fate of Medicare and Medicaid. You know, you might want to print out President-elect Trump's statement, I am not going to cut Medicare or Medicaid, and post that above your desk in your new office. Another nominee getting grilled, Scott Pruitt, picked to head up the EPA, clashing with Senator Bernie Sanders over the cause of climate change. I'm asking you a personal opinion. My, my personal opinion is, is immaterial. To the, really? To, to the job of, to the job of. You are going to be the head of the agency to protect the environment and your personal feelings about whether climate change is caused by human activity and carbon emissions is immaterial? Comparatively smooth sailing for South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, still the U.N. ambassador nominee became the third cabinet pick to publicly break with Trump over the issue of Russian aggression. I don't think that we can trust them. I think that we have to make sure that we try and see what we can get from them before we give to them. More confirmation hearings scheduled today. The Energy Secretary pick Rick Perry and Treasury Secretary choice Steve Mnuchin. As for the selection of Sonny Perdue for Agriculture Secretary, what that means is that if confirmed, the cabinet won't include a single Democratic politician or a Latino in it for the first time in at least a generation. Matt and Tamron. All right, Peter Alexander down the street from us here. Peter, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.